Hey guys, it's Davey from Hashtag Dork here. Do you like puns, misogyny, tired tropes, sexism, and not jokes, but hate sleeves and acting? Then have I got a movie for you. That's right. I had the honor of sitting through the creative equivalent of a hastily chosen face tattoo that is Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. Now I could sit here and give you a synopsis of the film, but it wouldn't fucking matter, because plot didn't really occur to anybody writing it, so why should it matter to you? Basically, imagine if an anthropomorphic affliction t-shirt was asked to write a screenplay, and it was haphazardly pasted together with Elmer's glue and put on display for anybody currently eating Chef Boyardee out of a can. And there you have it. But if you're hell-bent on watching what could be considered Mission Impossible Ghost Trailer Park, here are some highlights. Bear in mind, I'm not making any of this up. Here we go. An incredibly out-of-shape Vin Diesel is pulled back into action after the death of Samuel L. Jackson while he is recruiting Neymar Jr., that's right, the soccer player, to join the Triple X program. Oh, and Triple X claims that he was never Jackson's friend, but don't focus on that. That's not important. Tony Collette's in this movie. She's useless and must have owed somebody a favor. Triple X then assembles his own ragtag team of misfits, including the Hound from Game of Thrones and Ruby Rose, who, can we all just agree to just be done with her? Like, what the fuck is going on with this? And a Chinese kid, whose special skill in the movie, I'm not kidding, is listed as fun to be around. They go searching for a supercomputer, black box, satellite, wrecking, supercomputer thing called Pandora's Box, which just offends me as a, as a classicist as much as it does as a movie watcher. Mix in some casual five-on-one group sex for Vin Diesel, some skiing, yes skiing, through the jungle, triple X beating people up with a dirt bike, not on a dirt bike, but with a dirt bike, some dubstep, and some incomprehensible accents, and you've got yourself some sort of flicker show. Also, we have some of the worst CGI I've ever seen, like ever. Oh, and at one point, Triple X holds up three fingers and says, read between the lines. So apparently I wrote this movie in sixth grade, so my fault. Oh, what's that? A plot twist. The CIA is the bad guy. Wait, the good guys are the bad guys. Wait, the bad guys are good guys. What's happening? So much intrigue. And if, you think you're mad, if you're mad at this that you think I'm like giving you a spoiler, I have one question. How the fuck did you learn how to use a computer? Get back to your gas station hot dog. Also, the last time Vin Diesel was in a XXX movie was 15 years ago. So most of the people who, were, who like this was marketed towards like weren't even alive for the first one. So whose idea was this? Like This is a terrible idea. Oh, and Ice Cube shows up at the end. And Samuel L. Jackson isn't really dead in the end. But he's bald again and has one eye for some reason. You and I both know that you're never going to see this movie, so if you think this is a spoiler, then whatever. Enjoy your fucking Mountain Dew Kickstarter. Go fuck yourself.